Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Adrian Hartigan von Strauch, a love coach, quantum love coach. I'm greeting you from beautiful Bali in Indonesia, where it's morning. And for many of you listening, it's probably a different time zone and a different time in the day. I'm really delighted to do this recording today. It's a full moon day and it's a very auspicious day in Bali and usually full moon in some kind of astronomical, astrological sense relates to creating closure and new beginnings. And I think it's a beautiful kind of metaphor for this particular theme, single starting over. And the goal of this masterclass is to empower singles of all backgrounds and in all age groups to succeed in your transition from being alone without a partner to engaging with your future long-term life partner. So the benefits of today's, I call it now youtube now, because we decided to premiere and air it on YouTube rather than other channels. Um, there's really the benefit of me deciding to bring love expert messages delivered in a really seminar style, but no longer than 20 minutes or a little bit more than that. The presentation shows you the five steps you can put in, can put each in individual chapters and define time frames that suit your personal development. And number three, you don't need to seek right now a new partnership in order to be able to execute what I try to cover in this masterclass for you. So it's really about your inner work and the transition preparing for a new relationship. So ultimately, it's the five steps to renew your love life for being happier, more fulfilled, and certainly much more authentic in all aspects of your life related to this partnership. I want to go a little bit in my background as a love coach. I have 40 years professional experience in film and television, vibrational medicines, creative businesses, and coaching. 44 years experience in intimate relationships and I'm a mother of four. I'm a relationship and love coach since 2010 and internationally known as quantum love coach. My base is in New Zealand. I have worked extensively in Australia over the last 10, 11 years as well. Um, but recently I came into connection with John Gray's um, company, Mars Venus and Mars Venus Coaching. And I became a Mars Venus love and life coach only not even two years ago. And last year, beginning last year, I finalized my certificate and have my license as Mars Venus business and executive business coach globally. I want to speak now about being single because really there is the stigma that being single is maybe not a good thing and it's you know bringing into context with being isolated being not loved being lonely <laughs> instead of alone but there is really a wonderful opportunity that opens up for all of us being in that kind of status and I want to congratulate you because every single listening will share with me the the reality that whether we like it or not there is actually an opportunity attached to it so being single carries many opportunities it's yet not easy to discover and follow them through unless you're willing to begin looking inside of yourself and not seeking answers from outside, outside or others. And um, I think a great way to start your own process during or after listening to my presentation is to tell yourself to why it's great to be single and um, think about the potential gains and benefits that really come with it, even if it sounds a little bit, you know, 
daunting, I think, yeah, to believe that this is something we want to celebrate being single. But I do know that having this opportunity to renew ourselves, to reinvent ourselves, carries a lot of wonderful um, discoveries and, and magical secrets and miracles that come with it if you really approach it very sequentially. And when I say take it step by step, then this is really also related to a timeline, as I said at the beginning, you know, create almost like an internal vision to say each week or each fortnight or each month, I focus on this particular element of these five steps in my journey to renew myself. These five steps are these five authentic steps to attracting your soulmate. I put them all with the letter R. So the five R's guiding you from steps to step R. Number one, to review. Number two, to reassess. Number three, to reconnect. Number four, to replay. And number five, to redesign. Let's start with step one straight away. Review, reviewing is really a process that helps to seek great clarity and in inner introspective for the purpose of clearing and healing and transforming previous relationship patterns, potential parental conditionings, and the emotional unintelligence we applied when having responses and reactions to situations in our past relationships or even now in relation to those persons we still hold on to in one way or another. It's nothing wrong with taking time to be in the process of letting go. And I have colleagues who have um, designed and, and developed amazing work. Um, I think about Catherine Woodward Thomas, who speaks about the whole process of, you know, separating in a, in a very, very healthy and prof profoundly happy and, and, and transformational way to actually love the process more than pushing it away and putting a kind of a holy, I want to say it like a protective space around it because it carries something very, very unique, which we also hold in great unconditional love to those who raised us and those we have related before this particular relationship we still may grieve has actually um, been with. So I think we should be very, very open to letting this reviewing process be one of feeling all the feelings, but with that coming greater clarity to what is really happening within us. And that inner introspection being a process to help to find our own inner guidance because we can find that inner strength to know what is right for us. As a love coach, that is a most rewarding process to help my clients and because often going back in these past relationships and parental conditionings, and my quantum intimacy process is helping that is really, really very powerful and very, very helpful to anybody who signs up to really wanting to release the past. Step two is to reassess. Know your true wants and needs. And I think those people who have worked with me and know me as love coach know that this is probably one of my most defined and explicit process when I start working with people. Once reflect your external ideas and wishes, and we have them all, I think we should have a kind of an idea how we want to be in relationship, how we want to live, what we want to manifest, the kind of things that we want to experience with a partner, and how we actually ultimately relate to life in a relationship that fulfills us because ultimately it has to come together as one. We cannot be a separate person in relationship to where we are in our businesses, in our careers, with our children, with our family members, 
how we relate to money, how we relate to health, to spirituality. Ultimately, when we live and, and be with someone, we have to have a, a strong idea that the externalization of these values really, really match. Needs reflect your internal truths. So they come really out when we have almost looked back and see where have needs not been met in the past. I think that's why the first step of being so clear about what hasn't worked and where the hurt has been previously, this helps to really get ready to claim internally your internal truth and be very, very authentic about what is really important to you and what you need from a partner in order to feel loved and feel really held in any situation in your life, not just in partnership, but also in relation to other areas and other people and your community. When once stay negotiable, flexibility gives space for variety and new experiences. And I think this is something incredibly important to understand. You know, we want to stay negotiable. We have often this idea, oh, when this love relationship comes, it has to be exactly like this. And I want to live here. And yes, have your wants defined. But if you meet someone who wants to, you know, live in another suburb of the city you meet and, and live in or travel to another country for holiday, um, you know, in the summer or for Christmas, or you have very specific areas where negotiation is really, really almost, you know, it, it is absolutely, you know, important. And, and it's not just negotiable. It, it, when, when the non-negotiable and the negotiable almost meet in the same space and I would say that sex and intimacy is probably the most defined area where there's negotiability and that openness and yet the non-negotiability meet really really strongly so but let's not go too deep into the intimate space because this is just really like a journey um, I I want to some sort of create with you here that should be lighthearted and easy for you without thinking too deep because the deeper themes and subjects arise when the readiness appears within you or within the connection with a new person you meet and want to get more intimate with. Step three is to reconnect and the ability to express shared interests and support. Take time to shape your new identity as a lover based on truthful and authentic values. What really works, okay? And that is something that makes this step three so unique. It's about the values. Because when you meet someone, you have to have the ability to express what interests you, what support you need, and also what you are willing and able to give to someone. I think the readiness of being you know, helpful and in support to others also demands that we are ready to ask for help. And if that help cannot come from the partner or an ex-partner or some people who stay very, very close to us as friends or mothers or aunties or best friends, girlfriends, as a love coach, I do know that having this independent person in your life is incredibly powerful. And a love coach who will identify with you the important changes and developments to make and that is really important because sometimes we hold a little bit of either resistance or blindfolds that don't want us to really open up to what is not so nice to look at but in order to create what we really really want ultimately it's really good having someone you know looking at these red flags and these areas we want to learn to be comfortable talking about first to ourselves and then ultimately with our partners because not needing external support in a partnership in communication is a, a very, very profound way of succeeding and carry the relationship to new levels of experiences and heights. And ultimately in my work, connecting with the four steps of intimate intelligence, I very much differentiate between you know, emotional intelligence and intimate intelligence. And 
I recorded a webinar a few months ago. And if you want to go back here on this YouTube channel and look out for the webinar I recorded, I think it was around August, mid-August, um, just before we actually went in lockdown in New Zealand. It was the same day. I think it was 17 August. So look back. Um, it's certainly available on my channel. Um, and I will re-record it because I think it's an incredible theme to dive deeper into and it speaks particularly about our ability to really open up to show other people interest in each other and when we talk about expressing shared interest shared interest is not just hobbies and going out we're talking about being interested in one another in the deeper way of being and the support can only come authentically when we have the ability to communicate these needs. And Intimate Intelligent ultimately speaks about the process, the four steps to deepen this to the understanding that we cannot not exist without other people. We have to understand that even if we are single and live alone and keep a very, very private life, that there is still a world around us we we want and need to relate to and it's to our benefit to understand that it's not just our lovers it's other people too in our lives who want to feel that we care and that we are compassionate and really want to understand them seeking understanding from one another is so so powerful step four is to replay exercise and offer mutual comfort and curiosity. Um, it's really about the next level up from that seeking the support and, and finding understanding and the interest to one another. It's a more playful, a more curious, a more open-minded and open-hearted space. That's the space where we actually begin to open up to more intimate interactions. However, if you don't have these partners yet, there is something in us as singles. We can certainly develop and, and, and explore to feel much more you know, curious, even about ourselves. What have I not yet learned about me that I love, like, or would like to discover. So take things easy and have fun in the process of getting to know you men and women and simply be playful. And if these dates and these meetings and these collaborations don't happen physically yet, be able to find a way of expressing it through dance, through creativity, through writing, through going out in nature to be physically engaged and have connections with others. You love sharing those things who are really, really uplifting you and making you more happy and more inspirited in life. Exercise to ask meaningful questions and be comfortable to listen more than you speak. And that should actually relate to every area of your life and I guess this is something that is really hard because when we are single and live alone and then suddenly we have the opportunity to meet someone we have almost this habit and downloading everything that just is available to share and to say and sometimes being actually more curious first and asking questions first and listening gives us the opportunity to actually have our own inner dialogue to differentiate what is really happening for us when we listen versus what we really feel when we begin to speak. Because the speaking is often, you know, a beautiful result of something that we discover first internally before we even have really really expressed ourselves but this expression can already be something we can take to another much much more heightened and developed and authentic level do we just be in the space with someone and and have the ability to reflect while we receive messages 
So make great communication with others a first priority. And I think when we learn about business, when we learn about health and healing, and I mean, I work in all these arenas very um, intensively since more than 40 years, as I just explained in my introduction. I think um, it's wonderful to know that um, we can almost get away with anything <laughs> if we communicate really with honesty and in authenticity. And when we are willing to really make space for listening as well. So communication is, is something we should almost make an independent theme in learning and developing so that we are more prepared to give that person who we want to spend you know, time with and hopefully the rest of our life, if that's what you choose, you know, then that's something amazing to develop because um, being great communicators together is the most powerful and most long lasting skill set you can possibly hold. Step five is redesigning your love life. And um, the redesign process is really from all these internal pathways and coming to the feelings and the emotions and the interests and also what we just talked about, speaking it out and expressing it in, in words and in gestures of, of unity. Here comes the stronger willfulness to move our energy forward. And it's almost like when you see these five steps, you know, step one and two relate more to the past and to the present. And then we deal a lot with what presently is really, really happening and learning to be comfortable being and staying present regardless where we are in life. But then slowly coming to a point where we actually build a common foundation and vision. And when I say common, and making space for it is then it brings me back to the negotiability, knowing that the foundation has to be laid, but with you know the extra layer of giving something um, room to, to develop when the love is really developing truly and physically and in a 3D world. You know? um, there are design tools I have developed as Love Couch. I'm very, very strongly um, connected to many clients who create wonderful lives. And the magic is it's not just that it changes and transforms love lives or fulfills them or makes them happier. It's also that the purposeful approach to have these relationships leads us to so many more answers in areas of our career, in areas of our family, in areas to how we live, our lifestyle, how we, you know, how we relate to health, to well-being. All these things suddenly become so interwoven because we know that ultimately it's all contextual and all binds together to one beautiful spectrum of a life we want to live with everything there is. And developing commitment to your very own life journey until your future partner arrives to co-create your love life with you. And if that person is arriving already early in the journey of you even having a greater vision and a greater plan, then congratulations. And what I recommend is that you really, really look very, very closely to whether that what you experience is really, you know, matching these first steps I reflected on, you know, is it related and contextually reflecting to what you want and ultimately internally need to know that love, commitment, and great sense of unity can, you know, develop itself further and further over time. I'm here for you as your love coach to inspire you. So I have these three levels of coaching and people come to me at any stage. But it's 
always starting with a sense of discovery and assessment because we need to see where you're at. So this first step is my gift to you, a discovery session of 30 minutes to talk to me online, on Zoom or on the phone. And um, then I offer a foundation session that is a one-off session um, of around 90 minutes, which we call an assessment, a foundation session to really help you to go closer to those areas where change and transformation wants to um, happen. And if you decide to sign up for a coaching process with me, a longer process, usually I recommend a minimum of three months, then the realignment and the relationship healing can happen. We are going back into, you know, assessing the past a little bit. We are talking about past relationships and also we will help to heal and transform the relationship to both your birth parents, your father and your mother. That's essential in my work because ultimately here sits all the conditioning and all the, the frequency that we need to clear in order to become more liberated and freed from what stops us um, to have what we really, really love and want. And the planning and execution comes ultimately in the committed coaching process. I have clients who do every three months a new 90 day visionary process with me. We assess what has worked in the last three months and what would need to change in order to uplift and upgrade. And I have seen wonderful, wonderful transformations from people attracting exactly what they wanted in their life from lovers to places to go, to places to move, to properties in exotic countries, to jobs, to professional opportunities, um, and also transforming health and, and, and physiological um, issues. So, I mean, having a strong background in oppression medicine and natural health, I always add value. I'm also a homeopathic practitioner, so I do... Um, add value in giving natural health support and holistic support along the way to all my clients. So there's a whole big package of opportunities and we can assess them in having a conversation and the first 30 minutes is my gift to you. So we want to help you leading to the creation of your most fulfilling and magical love. And not just love for a lover, but love for life, love for everything, for God, for the universe, for everything there is. In the description box below here on YouTube, you find this link. So that will lead you to um, a landing page that um, describes a little bit more about what the background is and what we are offering in regards to finding love. And on the very bottom is the invitation to upload an ebook, and that's my gift to you. So today I offer you two gifts. Claim these gifts either through the link below you just saw, or go to the homepage of my website, lovecoach.co.nz, and there are two um, two particular places. One is helping you to booking your 30 minutes with me directly, one-to-one, -one, and the other is to download this wonderful ebook that is a reflection and a deepening of what we have discussed today. I want to thank you for listening, and I hope that this five-step process inspires you to look deeper into your own love story and into your love life and give some wonderful opportunity for um, discovering our connection and come forward please and connect with me i'm looking forward meeting you one-to-one -one on zoom or if you read my ebook and find some support and some learning from that please reach out we're always happy to help you thank you for this wonderful opportunity to connect with you today and I wish you an amazing full moon day. It's January 2022 and I hope um, your life is happy 
and healthy. And 2022 will be your year of great manifestations. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.